Good afternoon. First of all, first item of business, look at my hair. So I, I bleached it last night. I cut it. I cut most of it off, like all around the sides and stuff in the back. Because it was just like, why the hell not? It's fun. Whatever. Something different. It was really cold outside. Don't cut your hair in the winter. I probably won't cut my hair this short again until summer because it's fucking cold. But so it was like teal and stuff, you know, whatever. As you can see my vlogs and all my photos and everything. But so I wanted to color it purple. So I needed to dye my roots. Uh, I needed to bleach my roots and then kind of bleach out the blue and stuff. And it turned out so cool just bleaching it last night. Probably going to leave it like this for at least a week because I think it's so cool. Maybe through Christmas and then color it purple but so yesterday I was at work and my manager my store director bless his soul is a very opinionated man he's a very fast-paced man he's such a Gryffindor but he's the kind of Gryffindor that I clash with a little bit maybe he's maybe he's not a Gryffindor maybe he's a Ravenclaw I don't know sometimes I clash with Ravenclaws really easily but so everyone at work knows that I'm a vegetarian and so we have these uh vouchers and stuff for a free turkey from work you know which is really nice and stuff but it's like i don't eat turkey so what am i supposed to do with it so i've talked to my uh department manager and i'm gonna do what i did last year like he knows people who don't really have a turkey for dinner or for christmas dinner and stuff so i get my turkey and i give it to him so he can give it to someone who needs it you know i like to help people out quite a bit i like people i like helping people especially when i don't need a turkey <laughs> i don't want it to go to waste so we were talking about i joke around with people like you know don't eat dead animals which really i don't care what people eat it's what they want to eat who cares as long as they're not like eating people you know basically eat whatever in the hell you want i don't care i'm not going to judge you for it so we got on the subject about oh he brought up um you know when the pioneers crossed the united states and whatever and came to settle in Utah, how they had to eat meat or they wouldn't have survived, you know? Like, so you have to have meat in your diet. And it's just like, okay, well, funny news, I'm not a pioneer and I'm not, like, fighting for my life against weather conditions and starvation to survive. I have it pretty, I have it pretty nice. Pretty awesome. I can buy whatever I want to eat. I can buy the things I need to get that protein that I don't get from meat because I don't eat meat. So it's just like, I'm not, I'm not a pioneer. What's your point? You have no point with that. Yeah, they needed meat to survive. I don't. You don't. It. We're in. We live in a world now where we can survive without it because we know of other ways to get meat or protein. We know of other ways to get protein. So we got on the subject of evolution somehow, and I'm trying to work, and he's just standing back by my sink talking to me about it. Not just talking to me about it, but like challenging me about it he's like we have had to have meat our entire existence what did they eat before you know before meat we've we've always hunted like what did you eat before you hunted and it's just like that's not entirely true like i took a whole anthropology course and we got into detail about when people started eating meat and yeah it increased brain function but that was because we didn't obviously at that point in evolution we didn't understand that you know if you combine rice and beans bam you have a complete protein we didn't have the science for it. So I was like, yeah, meat's been good, but we haven't always survived on meat. And he was like, well, where's the proof? Where's the proof? It's <laughs> just like, I have the proof. Like, it's everywhere. The proof is in science. Like, the proof is in anthropology. I took an entire course on it, Rick. Or, you know, sorry, I wasn't trying to say his name. But anyways, I took a course. I know what I'm talking about. And it just, oh, he kept pressing pushing me about it and pushing me and pushing me and challenging me like why do you believe in evolution how can you believe in that that's not true that's not how we were put here we were put here by god and it was just like i'm not standing here asking you where the proof is that we were put here by god i'm not asking you for the proof of adam and eve and whether or not they eat ate meat when they were first put down on earth i'm not challenging you at all and it just I was trying to figure out what I could vlog about because I need a vlog, you know, to get my 22 things challenge complete. And it's just like, why do people think that you have to, that they have to challenge you about your beliefs? Like, why can't people just accept that other people believe things differently? I accept that some people don't like mac and cheese as much as I do. Some people don't like noodles. 
Some people don't like cheese. Some people don't like the combination of the two, but they like noodles and they like cheese by themselves. I fucking love mac and cheese. I could eat it every goddamn day. I pretty much do eat it every day. But I don't get mad at people who don't eat it. It's not like, oh my gosh, I can't, I can't be around you because you don't eat mac and cheese. Heaven forbid. What am I supposed to do if you don't eat mac and cheese? So why does it care if I believe in evolution? Why, why does it matter if I don't believe in creationism? Why, why does it matter that I believe in science? You know, because I have proof of science. So it's just, I just find it funny that people have to challenge each other's beliefs. Like, it, wh why? <laughs> like, I can understand discussions about it, you know, and being like, oh, okay, I can see why you, why you think that. I can see why you uh, believe in that. I don't believe in it. I don't agree with it. But I can understand why you do. That's civil. That's, that's, that's a conversation. People don't have conversations about this kind of stuff, though. They have arguments, and it's a debate, and it ends friendships, and it makes you not want your store director to come over and get food because he's going to ask you about evolution again today. Just grow up. It's okay. Everyone has different beliefs. Get over it. Move on with your life. There's more important things than challenging each other. Like, you know, being nice to each other. Oh, fancy that. So I know this vlog is probably really pointless, but I just had to get that off my chest and I had to show you my hair and how pretty it is, basically. So now I have to go uh, write a chapter for mine in Ashton's book and I have to edit my own novel. My deadline was to get it uh, rewritten by Christmas and yeah, no. I'm about page 47 of my original document out of 127. There's a lot of stuff to edit still. Yay me. I hope everyone has a great day. I hope everyone has a Merry Christmas. Be safe. Have fun. Don't challenge people.